This man is accused of shooting and killing a neighbor over a dispute about a parking spot. Now, Marcus Johnson faces murder charges. The man who died is T.J. Cunningham, a former CU Buffs player and assistant principal at Hinkley High School. I'm Britt Marino. Thank you for joining us. Cunningham was married with five children. Our Michaela White is covering Colorado first and has spent her morning in Cunningham's community. And at this hour, we know, Michaela, you're at the Arapahoe County Justice Center. So tell us more about these circumstances we're learning about. Good afternoon, Britt. Yes, I was in that courtroom this morning and there were some tense moments. That was for an advisement hearing that lasted about 20 minutes in total. Now, family, family members showed up to the courtroom but declined to talk. They were all silent as they made their way inside. 31-year-old Marcus Johnson didn't speak much either. He occasionally whispered to his attorney as he made his first court appearance. Johnson has a criminal history that includes assault and a weapons possession charge. He faces first-degree murder charges after Sunday shooting shooting, which investigators say stemmed from a parking dispute. Courtroom paperwork tells us they lived across the street from each other and they went to Eagle Crest High School so they could, quote, box it out. Marcus Johnson then told a dispatcher that he shot his neighbor. Cunningham, who was 46 years old, was shot three times in the head, chest, and later died. I expect that to remain in place even after Friday. I expect him to remain in custody until something called a proof evident presumption great hearing where the court will make determinations about whether or not he'll continue to be held without bond. There isn't any amount of money on the planet Earth at this moment that could get him out of custody. And Cunningham's friends also tell us it was completely out of character for him to be involved in a dispute like this in the first place. They also tell us he was beloved by his community. Live in Arapahoe County, Michaela White covering Colorado First. It's a terribly sad story. Thank you so much, Michaela.